The youth of Afghanistan took sleep from the eyes of the enemies of this country the first unmanned aircraft. In Afghanistan flew in Kabul the army of Afghanistan can be used in fighting with the enemies of Afghanistan. Youth of Afghanistan were able to build an unmanned aircraft with their bare hands and without any facility. This unmanned aircraft was designed and built by the teenagers of Afghan. In the innovation center affiliated with technical and professional training to support young innovators. Mullah Ghulam Haider, head of the Afghanistan Technical and Vocational Training Organization, says that these unmanned aircrafts successfully made their first flight. One of the young people who built this plane says that this plane has the ability to fly up to 300 kilometers. He also added that this drone can be used for military purposes and aerial photography. According to him, this plane is controlled remotely and it has a remote electronic controller like a remote control. It seems that these planes are widely used in military and security purposes. These young people say if they are supported. They can also build military drones to help the drones in the military battlefields in the fight against the enemies of Afghanistan. Ghulam Haider Shuhama, head of technical and vocational education, said at the opening ceremony of the innovation exhibition that his goal in hosting such exhibitions is to attract investment for young innovators and support them. He also added that there are more than 912 types of innovations that include ships, drones, cars and other innovations. He emphasizes that there are many young innovators in Afghanistan and they need more support. Last year, the innovation section was created and you can see the results of it now that they are showing. At the same time, the officials of the Ministry of Higher Education said in this show that professional and practical graduates are directly attracted to the country's universities. Muhammad Nadim, head of education, said that we promise those students who are going to higher education that we will provide them with practical and theoretical work in the university and you can use it in a better way. However, a number of innovators are worried. Lack of materials and work tools in the professional sector in the country. They say that with the support of the government, they can make more new innovations. Zakari Omari, a professor at the Afghan Institute of Technology, says that the system equipped with radar and artificial intelligence of unmanned aircraft and other innovations have been displayed in this exhibition. He adds that the basic challenges that exist in this sector are the lack of materials and work tools and the economic problems that have fueled them, and does not allow them to work and develop as they want Afghanistan's talented youths have succeeded in inventing and building an unmanned aircraft with no modern technological facilities in the world. Our government can support these young people and build these types of airplanes and use them in the fight against the enemies of Afghanistan. Also, an Afghan military officer by the name of Khalid bin Walid has embarked on a very big military initiative. He has built a 10-speed Autobahn gun that is remotely controlled by a computer. Soon, the National and Islamic Army of Afghanistan will be able to use this by fighting the enemies of Afghanistan in the battlefield.